What's up YouTube, Patrick J. Hilary here, your real estate investor and real estate coach. In today's video, we're actually giving you a, a sneak peek into a live seminar that we did here at the PCCM, the Filipino Canadian Community Center of Manitoba. And I was here with some of my students and one of the coaches there. So yeah, we're super excited. You guys get a ton of value. I'm going into handling some obstacles that you might have getting into real estate. I show you how to analyze the deal super quickly. The crowd was super engaged, so I'm super excited of that. And I would love to, for you to check out this video. Now, of course, hit that like and subscribe button. And also, if you are interested in actually getting better at your social and financial literacy skills, make sure to hit the description below. I'm giving out my free social and financial literacy course. It's a ton of value. I put 10 years of effort into this, going out into the real world, hiring mentors, hiring coaches to really learn how financial literacy and social skills go hand in hand. Because if you can't say hi and you can't put yourself out there, good luck trying to make good money. But that being said, get into that course completely free. Don't tell me you wanna be a millionaire and become financially free, but you can't sign up for a free course. Get the free course and then let's get right into the video. Hey, do you wanna get my free ebook, How to Never Be Broke Again? I've given this out completely for free. So DM me the word ebook, one word, ebook, and I will send you that for free. You guys are awesome, and thanks so much for the continued support. Thanks, right? Awesome, so my name's Patrick J. Hilario. Uh, I was a teacher at Miles Mac for about five years, and that's how I got started into real estate. So I met my own mentor, Nelson Camp. He was a teacher for about 15 years, and how he got started was by accident. So he didn't even know that being a landlord was something legal. His neighbor kept coming once a month getting money from these people coming out of an apartment. And he's like, what's going on here? And his neighbor taught him that you can actually rent out your home. So he's like telling his girlfriend, like, don't tell anyone how to do this. Like, I don't know if this is legal. Cause in the past they didn't have books on real estate. They didn't have YouTube for real estate. There was no people sharing knowledge like this. So anyway, he coached me and said, Hey, when you become a teacher, the bank is gonna love your income because you have a stable job and you do what's called a house hack. So my first year in real estate, I did two deals. First one was a house hack. For the ones that don't know, house hack is when you put 5% down on a home, you live in one room and then you rent out your other rooms. So that first deal, I was only really making $50 a month, some months, sometimes I would break even but I got my practice as being a beginner landlord. Okay. Second deal we did was what's called the Burr strategy. I'll talk about that a little bit later. And after I hired my own coach, we were able to do 12 deals in the second year. Okay, so we closed up until now. I've been in real estate for five years. Uh, I've personally closed over 7.38 million in real estate. I have kept a portfolio about 4.35 million in real estate. And I've helped my students close about $13.5 million in real estate in the past two years. Hey, do you have a question you really want to ask me? Make sure that you send me an email. I read all these emails. Email me at, at patrickhilario at hilarioholdings.com. Send me your questions there and I'd love to connect with you and help you out with that. Who here is looking to get more rental properties? Maybe you have one or two, but you're trying to get to like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool, perfect. Okay, so some beginners, some people are already doing it. So the first thing is there's always obstacles when you're running a business, right? I'm not here to sell you a dream. I'm not gonna say it's easy. It's not, right? It does require work, especially if you're working a nine to five or if you run a business. This is something you're adding on top of that. So what I wanna help you guys with today is just 
deal with some of these obstacles so that you know, hey, this is possible. So to solve the money problem is really what's called creative financing. Has anyone heard of creative financing before? No one. Okay, some people, people that I coach actually. Uh, so creative financing is you're finding other ways to get money, right? Some of the presentations earlier, shout out to everyone who did a presentation today. That was awesome. Thank you to Pineapple as well. One of the presentations talked about there, you can get a gift letter, right? You can get a gift from family uh, or friends and you can use that to fund deals, okay? That's one way you can fund your properties, right? Borrow a little money from mom and dad, put that into a deal, and then you give mom and dad a little bit of a cut. However, not all of us are privileged enough to have that. Okay? What I'll show people is that you can actually find money. This is what creative financing is, is that you don't have to use your own capital. You can find money partners. There are rules and regulations around that, especially in Manitoba. So you want to make sure you follow those rules. But you don't necessarily need your own money, but you need access to money. Um, I've done about 24 of my own deals, not joint ventures, and I've only used my own money for the first deal. Everything after, I've always just found other people's money. Okay. Who here has read Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Highly recommend reading that book. This is where you'll learn a lot of these strategies. Now, who here wants to do real estate, but you're like, oh, I don't have enough time. I work a regular job, I run a business, I don't have hours to put into real estate. Who's in that boat? I want to do this, but I don't have time. Okay, a couple people. Some people, you probably do have time. Awesome. Um, with the time piece, you just got to remember, especially, this is going to be mostly for these younger people in the group, but even with the older people, do you think your time, you think you're going to get more time as you get older, or do you just get busier? Yeah, you just get busier, right? Maybe people closer to retirement, you're like, actually, I'm going to get more time, so this might work. But if you're younger, you know, you don't have kids yet, maybe you're starting a small family, maybe your parents are getting a little bit older, you got to take care of them, time will become more and more valuable because you'll have less and less time. Now, if you want to get insider info on my thoughts, I've actually started to use Twitter as just my brain dump and notes so I can share insights in there all the time. So if you want to learn more, follow me on Twitter. That's at Patrick J. Hilario. Take care. The best time to get in real estate was 20 years ago. It was yesterday. Second best time is today. Okay. There is a cost to delaying your dreams. Okay. One of my own mentors teaches me that delay actually kills dreams. Okay. You're thinking about doing this. You're thinking about doing this. Five years passes by. Now you're older. You have less energy. You're more tired and you could have just started before. Okay. Something that also helps with the time is you don't have to do real estate full time. Okay. I started part time. I was a teacher. I taught my 50 hours a week and then I would go home and then do a little bit of real estate. Most of my students probably spend about one to four hours a week doing real estate. I have a couple high performance students where they just go full time. You don't have to do that. Okay. Another big example or another big obstacle, sorry, is going to be your fears. Who's like, I get excited about real estate, but you're kind of scared to do it. Who's kind of scared to jump into real estate? I know I was, right? One thing that's going to help is if you're ever trying to do something that you haven't done before, is it going to be scary? Yeah, all the time, right? I can talk up here without a mic because I spent over 10,000 hours already speaking in front of classrooms, doing things like this, so it's less scary. But the first time, my hands were all sweaty, I was a little nervous, doing my first deal, I didn't know what was going on, I'm just signing the documents, hoping everyone is helping me. But fear is part of your improvement in your life, okay? Fear's not gonna go away, you just get either more educated or you actually build experiences that show you you can do it. Okay? From the ones that have already bought their first home, is it that scary anymore? No, it's not that bad. You go through the paperwork, you talk to the lawyer, you get financing, and it's just a checklist, right? But the first time you're like, I don't know what's going on. Um, you don't know what the paperwork looks like. You're just trusting other people. Okay? So fear is part of the process. And 
it does help if you're just surrounded with people that can guide you and give you step by steps. The last obstacle that usually stops people in real estate is just getting support. Okay? Whether that's with your romantic partner, whether you're married, husband, wife, or even just your family, having that support does help. And unfortunately, some of us don't have that support. Right? Like my parents thought I was crazy trying to buy a home every single month for a whole year. Okay? They didn't understand. They're like, oh, like, what are you doing? That's a lot of utang. Like you're boring a lot. So they didn't realize it was working up until I said, hey, mom and dad, we have this portfolio. Um, you don't need to work anymore. Okay? Then they start believing that it's real. Okay? They actually allowed me to rent out their old home because they see that it works now. But it's normal for people to maybe not support you just yet. And you have to kind of reach out to other people to help support you. <coughs>